Hi, welcome back to the channel. So this is the next day now. Let's just uh, get your attention to to this down here. So here's the the Kubota engine. The the engine itself now is is basically prepped and ready to go to the machine shop. So there was a, a gasket here that went all the way around that had you know that that was that was to seal the block with the front cover so that gasket's been removed i gave this a preliminary clean with um some bray clean after i took the gasket off the man the machinist asked me to remove the crankshaft so in the previous video you'll see how we did all that so i just mounted this on a couple of four by fours and then put two pieces of aspenite on either side just to keep keep things upright and then the piston and the and the rings they're all here so similarly with the the rear of the engine i just cleaned everything off i kept this gasket in place because i think i'm gonna i'm gonna be able to reuse this it wasn't damaged but then you know there was a little bit of sealant that went all the way around here so i cleaned that off but anyway I'll get this off to the machine shop and I, I'm estimating or I estimate like in about two weeks we should have it back and then once we get it back we just you know full full throttle back on getting the whole thing put back together but for now we're not gonna wait we have I have another thing I have to do on this tractor so let me show you what what has to be done okay so here we are at the the, the rear part of the tractor I've already taken the the rear wheel off and and I unbolted the the fender. That was quite easy. Quite easy. There's just a bunch of 12 millimeter bolts, you know, that uh, that bolt the fender on with a couple of odd brackets or one bracket here and then and then right here on the foot pedal. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to I'm going to disassemble this part of the tractor because. I have a an oil seal that's that's failed. Do you see here how everything is all wet here? There's there's oil coming out. Well, that's because there's a an oil seal on this housing, and this oil seal is has failed. So every time, like this is not a really great way to 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 show this, but before I I started taking the wheel off and the fender off, there's there was a a big puddle of hydraulic oil down here underneath the tractor so even though I, I go and I clean that up with a rag you know the next day there's another puddle that 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 gets created so because we want to I want to get this tractor as, as as perfect as possible I'm going to I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to see if I can get this or if I can replace this oil seal. The next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect these these hinges. So here and here. So we'll take we'll take that off, and I'll use a pair of um, needle nose pliers, and I'll just remove the cotter pin. So remove the cotter pin washer push the pin out and then what I'll do is I'll put I'll put everything back in place so I know where it goes so we've got this one removed we'll have to do the same over here on this one Okay, so there's the other one. Put that aside. That will go there. I think we'll take these four bolts off just to get better access to the to the back. But, this is what I thought, 
it's it's on there really good. Okay, let's zap this off. Okay. See, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Don't have a, a whole lot of access. Before bottom one's done, I think I have no choice but to somehow pop off this pop off this cover unless we just go in here with the wrench instead. But let me let's just see if we can crack that loose. Let's just see. Another gasket that we need to replace. Okay, so a little bit of tension on this. This is prop, this is all linked with the brakes in here. So there you have it. Here's a view of, of the brakes inside. Okay, so put this back in there like that. Here's a look inside. So the this is basically the 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 drum or the um, the brake pads. So this this spring just goes in here like this, just to keep those pads together. Okay. And then as you turn this lever, what it does is that it just, it just spreads, spreads these pads apart. Okay. All right, so we'll put that aside. This is the mechanism here for the brake. So I think that shouldn't be a problem if it just sits here like that for now. I'll have to come back in clean off this surface and here's the drum the brake drum so next what we'll do is we'll just continue continue on with my 17 millimeter 17 and then there's one other 17 right over here I believe the remaining bolts, they're not 17. They're actually a size smaller. Maybe 14? Yeah. Oh, and we're getting a little bit of leakage. So, I'll just put this collection pan here underneath. And just carry on with taking off these bolts. it so we have all the bolts removed got the drum the brake assembly off the next the next thing we'd have to do is just pull off I wonder if this this little brackets gonna be in the way I think so just to give us better access here to take this pan off and then I'll get us a flat screwdriver and now we have to try to pry off this, this, uh, that housing. Now I'll just work my way around with a flat blade. There we 
Ja. I'll just get another container ready just in case. This has to come off. Oh boy, there's all kinds of parts in here. There's a washer there. I'm taking this off. See, there's a washer. There's a washer right there. This, so I'm just going to remove this. This spring runs in that passageway up in there. So this, this runs up inside this chamber like that, but in the interim, it runs on this guide. So let's go back to this part here. It's this seal right here we want to replace. That seal runs on this surface right here. So what was happening is that all this fluid that's gathering in here, okay, it was, of course, all this is submerged in, in oil, but it was coming out and leaking, leaking out from around here on this oil seal. So that's what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to replace this, this seal and then hopefully that will deal with, that will prevent further, further oil leakages. All right, so now you've seen what's involved with removing, remo removing a portion or a side of the, the transmission part on this tractor. The next step I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some brake clean and I'll clean off this surface. It looks like the, the majority of the gasket came off came off as we were taking off the side cover but I'll go and I'll prepare this surface for the reinstall the reinstallation of the housing I'll I'll come over here too we'll remove the gasket on this surface get that cleaned off in some gas and then as well spend some time you know cleaning up cleaning up the brake as well so I'll get all my parts cleaned up ready for reinstallation and in the next video or in the in the future videos you'll see the whole reinstallation of um of the tractor so hopefully you found this useful stay tuned to the next one when we get this tractor rebuilt take care